Splatoon 3 Sizzle Season is right around the corner, which means it's time to speculate what they might add in the update. We know from the Chill and Fresh Season that they like to add two maps, one original map and a returning map, with Flounder Heights from Splatoon 1 in the Chill Season and Manta Maria from Splatoon 2 in the Fresh Season. So we can see a pattern of the devs alternating which game gets a map remastered for Splatoon 3, so it's safe to assume that in the Sizzle Season that we're gonna get a Splatoon 1 map. Now I don't think that they're gonna add a Splatoon map that was also in Splatoon 2 this early, which means that we have three maps to choose from, Urchin Underpass, Bluefin Depot, and the one I want the most, Salt Spray Rig. Now don't get me wrong, Urchin and Bluefin are great maps and I would love for them to return, but no map in my opinion is as unique and interesting as Salt Spray. See, most maps in Splatoon are symmetrical. If you cut the stage in half, you will see that it's the same for both sides, but Salt Spray isn't symmetrical at all. A feature only shared with Skipper Pavilion from Splatoon 2 and two Shifty Station maps. What most people would call mid on this map actually leads out to this bigger containment crate area with a crane that you could ride on. And if you go down the elevator, there's this entire separate part of the map that plays completely differently. Where the top is more open and free, the bottom is tight and narrow. And if you were around in the Splatoon 1 days, you would remember the meeting splatlings that would call this jungle home. I don't think there's ever been a map so unique and interesting as Salt Spray Rig. But no map is made perfect, and it has its problems. A lot of problems, mainly in ranked. Remember that in Splatoon 1, there were only three ranked modes. Splat Zones, Tower Control, and Rainmaker. And on all of these modes on Salt Spray, they were banned from solo queue and they will not appear in the rotation. Yes, that's right. If you wanted to play ranked and you wanted to play on Salt Spray, you literally couldn't. And if you want to know why these maps got banned, well, take a look at this. The tower control path would go over the water where the elevator would be and then into the mini spatling jungle. Just looking at gameplay makes me sick. Speaking of making me sick, Rainmaker was even worse as the goal was at their spawn shield. It would make it impossible for you to get out of your own base if the enemy team got close because they could just spawn camp you. And you remember the top section of the map? That was a special farm. If you had control of that area, then there wasn't much that the enemy team could do to stop you from spamming ink strikes and killer whales. And you know the crane? You could just stall the Rainmaker there if you needed to, and there wasn't much that the enemy team could do to stop you. Even if they kill you, popping the bubble again would be nearly impossible. Splatoon 3 doesn't really have a map right now that is just pure fun. One that is a casual's heaven because really all of these maps feel samey. Except for Flounder Heights, that's a good map. But I think that with a little bit of tweaking to the ranked modes, Salt Spray could be the change that Splatoon 3 needs. Salt Spray might have been a terrible map, but I would always get excited when I played it. The sheer stupidity that comes out of this map has never really been replicated. Salt Spray is Nintendo's single greatest mistake but I think that it could come to save them when they really needed it. What do you think about Salt Spray? Am I stupid? Do you think it should come back? What changes would you make to it? Leave it down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.